We're out here today because we're fighting now redundancies that are being planned. Academies take 5% of their budget for so-called services. At the moment, the school are paying 0.5% for those same services. What happens? Basically, people are going to lose their jobs. We're not having that, and you're not having that, are you? No! We as a family chose John Roan because we wanted a local education for our children. All three of them that are currently here are very different from each other, and we wanted a place where they could all be happy and Quite all right. reach their potential. We did not want an exam factory. It is not the way to educate children. So we know that support staff are essential in that role. Because if you've got a child that comes in that's upset in the morning, and you talk to them and you find out that their cat died, but then when you actually probe a bit deeper because you know that child, you find out actually their uncle's only in his 20s died the week before, you know that that support member of staff is going to do all that they can to enable that child to continue to access their education and make that child feel a little bit better. And John Rome provided that sort of framework for us. So we don't recognise the Ofsted that came out, actually. The new academy won't even sign a recognition agreement. They don't want to know unions, and I'll tell you why they don't want to know unions, because unions stand up for you. Yeah! Yeah! We found out from a letter from the Chair of Governors that they were planning to academise us on the 1st of January. That was a very serious situation for us. And along with the GMB, we decided that we had to make our voices heard. We have asked our local authorities successfully to postpone the conversion which we achieved only a few weeks ago. A round of applause to the parents who managed to put pressure on the, the council to do that. We had our, a bit of confusion with the council where they kind of suggested that maybe our ballot wasn't as legal as they thought. Was, look, it's legal. But today we did find ourselves in a situation where we had to make a decision whether we were going to go into work. And I'm very pleased to announce that the NEU teachers at this school refuse to cross your picket line. I think this is a very important precedent because what it says to everybody is that an injury to one person is an injury to everybody. Each and every NEU member who hasn't crossed the picket line, the NEU national executive members stand right behind you and we will make sure one way or another that you don't go out of pocket for this action that you It is really quite something to see the support that we're giving each other. and. Um, I just want to uh, reassure people that we are going to fight this. I just want to say how proud I am of the GMB members for being out on strike today. Well done. Yay! The GMB are really proud of you. And there's nothing good to say about academies. They're just privatisation by another name. What we absolutely know is a local authority is six times more likely to improve a school than an academy. Our children deserve a good education in a community school. Not a business that's going to run our school just for profit. Consultancy costs, okay, nationally in academies rose by 10% last year to £176 million. Those of us that work in the John Rand at the moment are a bit frustrated about the photocopiers, aren't we folks? How can we be spending money on UST consultants when the basics aren't working. In Lambeth, in the same street of the school I currently teach in, the ex-head has been paid £850,000, money that should belong Yay. to the school Yay. as a payoff I'm deal. Great. One of the things that academies are meant to declare is what's known as related party transactions. This is when trustees on a multi-academy trust have their own companies and they use their position on the trust to employ their companies to buy services. Money spent on these related party transactions rose last year from 62 million to 79 million. At 79 million pounds that trustees are essentially extracting from public money in order to buy in their own companies and services. The UST is already in deficit. Why do we want a company taking over our school that's already in deficit? It's just going to suck the finances out of our school. Graham Price, if I can just show you, has already failed at a school. Why do we want this man in charge of our children? We don't. No. He's already failed. He's been on a four-month trip when his school was failing. 
It's disgusting. We cannot let this man and the UST get into this school. Last Wednesday night, the governors came together at Sherrington and decided to stay with the LA. Now, if Sherrington can do this, I think John Ron can do it even better. The fact that you are prepared to stand up and be counted and put your jobs on the line in this way and put yourselves out on a cold, miserable morning. <laughs> you know, you have my love, you have my respect and you have my grandchildren's best wishes. Thank you. Listen to the teachers. No to academies. Listen to support staff. No to academies. Listen to the students. No to academies. Listen to the parents. No to Listen to the teachers. No to academies. Listen to support staff. No to academies. Listen to our students. No to academies. Listen to the parents. No to academies. Listen to the teachers. No to academies. Listen to the students. No to academies. Listen to.